Hello everyone, welcome back to the Terraria Let's Play. We're here for episode 2. I've done quite a bit of work in between. I went mining. Oh, oh I don't want to spoil the house yet. But as you can see, I went mining down quite a bit just to get some materials because I know that mining is quite boring to watch, really. It's just <laughs> digging straight down and hopefully finding stuff. I did find a few houses. I have some footage of that. Perhaps I'll show that. But, so, what did I profit from this mine? Oh, don't show the house yet. Uh, I was able to get myself a tungsten broadsword, a gold pickaxe, a tungsten bow, uh, a magic mirror. I'm not sure where I got the depth meter. I think it was from a chest or something like that. Uh, flare gun, probably pretty much useless. And one of the things in the granite biome dropped a night vision helmet. So I figured I'd put that on. It was equivalent to my tin helmet that I was wearing. Actually, I got two of them. So I don't think there's any need for two. But Oh, I just realized I have an extra life crystal. As you can see, I also got my health up to 200, which is pretty good. But what are we going to do today? Well, today I think we're going to go and we're going to explore the Crimson. We'll probably get... There's one on each side of the world. You see, there's one right here and then there's another one right there. We're going to go to this one because in order to get to this one, we have to go through the desert and all those stupid... Uh, what are they called? Uh, oh, the, the ant lions that live in the desert. They fly around, they just kill me. But I also made a new house. So this one is our pretty fine house. I made a hook as well. Oh, holy FPS drop. But this is the pretty fine house that I've made thanks to um, my good friend Other David for the design because I entirely stole it. <laughs> like I quite literally copy-pasted it. Well, not really copy-pasted it, but you know. You know what I mean. Found the design and copied it block for block. So it's quite a nice house. I'm going to have NPC housing down here. I'm just going to make rooms like this because so... Because, you know, that's obviously more efficient than building a house like this for every single one of the NPC. But we're going to head off to the Crimson. I think that's all I needed to show. Oh, we got all this ore to smelt as well. I've obviously been mining for quite a while. I've probably put, I don't know, maybe four hours of gameplay into mining so far. And this is really all I've gotten from it. You know, that's just mining in Terraria for you. That's why I don't like to show mining on camera, because it just takes so long. There there are some parts that are alright, but not not right now. Not early game mining. Oh, my computer is definitely not happy about something. It's dropping my FPS. Come on. Game, what are you doing? Hello? Maybe it doesn't want to... It's not happy about something. Look. It's probably Java update. There we go. Oh, there's Slenderman garage door now. Uh, we can just throw, we can quick stack everything else. We're gonna come over here. Quick stack everything in here. I think that's good. I don't know what to do with this extra helmet. I could probably just sell it. Mm, yeah, might as well. How much gold can we get for it? Lewis, you're sitting in the chair. How much gold? Two gold. Oh, dang. We're definitely selling that. There we go. Now I have a bit of money now, so we can... I'm gonna make sure I put it away. So I don't lose it, because knowing me, I'll take it to the Crimson and just get wrecked. Uh, we need explosives. We have 42 bombs. That's more than enough. <laughs> oh, we need a hammer as well. I forgot about the hammer. We'll just make a tin hammer. Tin sheep. I just want to have... We need to smelt this ore as well. A lead ore. So let's go ahead. We'll make a bunch of lead bars. Da -da -da -da. Do we want to make a lead hammer? We could be that cool. Let's do it. We'll be cool and make a lead hammer. Watch me like... All right, good. It's not a terrible modifier on it. Alright everybody, here we are, at the Crimson, and new to 1.3, there are these annoying spiky thingies that now used to not spawn in the Crimson, but only the Corruption, but now they're in the Crimson too, which is, you know, just wonderful. Alright, let's hopefully we can make it through the lake without dying, that's where I died last time I came here, because I just got trapped in the lake and I just had nothing with me. So I just got wrecked, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't think I even had a bow at the time. Oh, Alright, so here we have... The lovely uh, entrance to the thing right here. I'm gonna chop down these trees just to get some of the wood. Oh, there's a face monster, whatever it's called. I think it's called a face monster. Shade wood. I've never actually used shade wood in building, but I figure I'll grab some just in case it looks cool. Hopefully it doesn't like spread corruption or anything like that, because if so, I'm not using this garbage. <laughs> I'll throw it out. Throw it out just like the frames that I just dropped. Alright everybody, just in uh, this part of the gameplay I had some terrible background noise going on so I obviously couldn't use the audio for this. But pretty much what was happening is I was just like, alright, I'm gonna go down here. And then this terrible face, or uh, the face monster came after me, the stupid blood crawler came after me, and I figured out that they make new sounds. And, I mean, 
just 1.3. I guess it's not that big of a deal if they make sounds, but, you know, it is something new. And I guess they're kind of cool. And what, one thing that I did notice is that, like, I feel as though they changed this drop right here a little bit, because normally it was just like a straight, like, almost like a staircase thing downwards. And ready to get, just prepare yourself for the best, the best face monster fight, I think, that the world has ever seen right here. As I sit here and just derp around with a grappling hook trying to kill the thing. And, you know, like, fail, like, multiple times. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hit him this time. And nope, nope, nope. All right, maybe he'll come over here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, maybe he'll come back. Ready? Nope, nope, nope. And I finally hit him. <laughs> and then miss like, nine more shots. That's, like, description of me as I play Terraria. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oops, missed, missed. But then, yeah, uh, there really isn't much new to this part of the Crimson, it would appear. Just a little bit of changes to how this... Uh, the downward slope is generated, but not much past that. Nothing too exciting here. But we're going to get back into actual gameplay, so here we go. Sorry, I just had to mute my mic. People in the back were making too much background noise, being too loud. I'll probably just voice over there. <laughs> but, uh... We're gonna continue our way down. It does seem like they did change, like, oh jeez, the landscape of this place a little bit. Like, it seems it's just a bit steeper. And maybe it goes farther down. I don't think. Maybe I could, I could just be crazy, but I didn't. Think, I don't ever remember it being this like random and steep. I thought it was more so like just organized diagonals. Maybe I'm just crazy though. We haven't really gotten anything good from these little things. My cat just went flying across the room right now. I don't even know. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, this isn't even the main chamber yet. Well, I think we are getting close to the main chamber. Just watching people play, and, uh... I have seen the Brain of Cthulhu beat once. And then the guy died, like, 9,000 times more. <laughs> after he tried again. But, uh, on, on the multiplayer server that I normally play on, uh... The guys on there just went and beat the Eye of Cthulhu. So, I guess he must not be too difficult. I would assume he is, obviously, difficult, but not... Not incredibly difficult. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, don't die. I'm just gonna hide over here. And hopefully not die until... We're gonna get safe here. Oh my god. That's the problem. It's like you die so incredibly fast in expert mode. I've kind of learned how to deal with it a little bit, but... Not entirely. Alright, so we got two hearts down here. Obviously, we don't want to break three yet. Oh, this one's nice and easy to get, because it's very close to the, uh, the surface. We'll throw a bomb down there. Did that break? Oh, wow, that broke us in already. Alright, we're gonna hope for the Undertaker, so that way we can get the arms dealer here. What'd we get? The Undertaker! And a horrible chill goes down. Is that the dungeon right down there? Did I just see that correctly? What is that? It's like brick of some sort. I hope that's not the dungeon. I think that's the dungeon. <laughs> well, what luck. Alright, we don't want to get too close to that, or otherwise we're going to spawn it. Yeah, that's the dungeon. Alright, well, the dungeon's right here. So we really have to be careful that we don't get too close to that, otherwise the dungeon guardian's going to spawn and come kill us. And obviously that wouldn't be very bad. Let's try to get this one. Oh, jeez, there's one in the water. How many there are? They're everywhere. What I'll probably do is I'll make one of those, like, wood platform arena things in here. So it's not... Oh my god, leave me alone. The only problem is whenever you go underwater, I can't fire flaming arrows anymore. Because obviously, you know, fire and water don't exactly mix quite well. These things just need to go away. Just die. Uh, let's see. So we've already gotten the Undertaker, so we obviously don't want another one of those. Uh, what else would be really good? I know the Rotted Fork's really good for fighting the Brain of Cthulhu. I think the, uh, the, that... Uh, what's it? What's it called? Like the uh, the the cloud thing. What is that thing called? It's not the Nimbus rod. That's like that's the hard mode version. Oh dang it! This thing might kill us. Die, die. Thank you. And we're gonna latch on up here. Kill this one. Oh, dang it! All right, well we just died. Tis a shame. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to go back there now. Dang you, Gaben. All right, I'm gonna get some wood and make some plant farms first, I think. 
All right, so finally we're back in the Crimson after waiting quite a while. I tried to come back during the night, but uh, just a uh, word of warning, don't try to travel at night in expert mode because you're probably going to get killed. I got mobbed by like nine Eskimo zombies as I tried to go through the snow biome to get here, and it was just it was just bad. Oh, we just got an arms dealer. Isn't that convenient? We do have the Undertaker now, so I guess, you know, we do have that extra house as well. But, oh, I killed a pink slime on the way here. I got pink gel. I don't know what the difference is, but I guess it says bouncy. Maybe you can make, like, bouncy stuff with it. We need to make some more flaming arrows. I hate to use up all of my, you know, I'm just going to use all the torches. Oh, well. Oh, and look how much. <laughs> Does anybody else find it hilarious that we got 420 flaming arrows? One could also call them blazing arrows. And we happen to get 420 of them. Gaben conspiracy. Steam integration, Gaben, please. Lately, I've been blaming Gaben for all my Terraria problems, because ever since Steam integration, I can no longer play multiplayer, because for whatever reason, it just runs at 1 FPS. No idea what the deal is. Like, not recording in single player, I get, like, constant 60. But just trying to play multiplayer, I get 1. I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. Like, that's not right. So I blame Gaben, of course. Because Gaben, Gaben ruined it all. It's all Gaben's fault. Dang it, Gaben. Hopefully let's not get wrecked as we get down here. Or maybe I'll make some platforms. Uh, wood platform. The nice thing is now you do get two platforms for one piece of wood. It's 60. 60 seems to be an... Oh, nope, stay away. No, don't come over here. No, don't come over here. Thank you very much. Die. Shoot. I hate these stupid spider guys. I'm not sure which I hate more, the Crimson or the Corruption. They're both pretty much... God, there's so many of these things. Leave me alone. I should have brought a Sunflower is what I should have brought. I just planted a Sunflower down here because that decreases uh, monster spawn rates. I think that's a new feature in 1.3. I could be wrong. But... Like, look, why don't these things ever want to leave me alone? Um, Alright, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to wood platform across the top for right now. Just so that way, if need be, I can grapple along up here or something. And I can waltz along here and do this. Makes it easier to fight the spiders if I'm doing this. What the heck? There's so many of them. Why? Why? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, stay away. I can't die again. Mustn't. I don't know why I'm not using the Undertaker. No, die. Don't kill me. There we go. They're all dead. I'm sure the second I walk down here, there's going to be like 30 more. All right, not, not yet, not yet, luckily. I hear them now. Yep, there they are. This this Undertaker works out. The nice thing is now I can buy more ammo from the arms dealer. Since he is, in fact, here. Oh right, yeah, this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> I just want one orb. That's all I'm asking for, Gaben. The nice thing is we are going to have a lot of vertebrae, so we can make those bloody spine things to summon the, the boss. So we're not going to have to rely on stupid hearts. Uh, blood crawlers. I tell you what. They just will not leave me alone. See, look. Here they come again. Like, you would think that after I've killed all their friends, they would leave me alone. But they're like, no, let's go again. Oh, now there's... Holy crap, there's four of them. Oh, the struggle. I just want to get down there to that one stupid heart. Note to self. Do I have a sunflower on me? I might actually. No, I don't. I put him in my chest. I knew I, I was carrying him before because I planted them around the house. So that way, you know, obviously lower spawn rates around the house is always helpful. Oh my god. What if there's a water candle in the dungeon that's causing these things to... Because you know how the dungeon's right there. If there's a water candle in there, that's going to make these guys spawn more. Right, you know, we're just going to go for it going for this heart. I don't even care. Got one. Kill these things. We need some block. We'll, we'll block ourselves in. Alright, there we go. Good enough for government work. Until we drown. <laughs> that would entirely defeat the purpose of that. We're gonna do this so we don't die. Instead, we're just gonna drown to death. Alright, this one also looks easy to get. There's one thing I like about the Crimson over the Corruption, it's much easier to get the hearts and the orbs. 
Because the orbs, you actually kind of have to dig for them. These ones, you just kind of like break a block or two. And then you get the orb. Or the heart, I guess. <laughs> Unless if you're like me and you fail at throwing bombs. I'll make a sticky one. Whatever, stick it to the wall. Alright, let's get out of here before we drown. Alright, come on. Anything but the Undertaker from this one. Since we already have one. Give me the Crimson Rod. We got our Crimson. Oh, what's a Crimson Heart? Summons a heart to provide light. And look, we even have this nice cool slot. Here's one. I think it's that one. Yeah, look at that. Alright, so he's gonna float around. Uh, we're gonna break one more, and then I know it is gonna summon the boss, but we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna watch Macaulay back home, Magic Mirror back home. I don't know if you saw that I got a Magic Mirror, but I got a Magic Mirror. Surprise. Alright, let's just try to evade all of this not fun stuff. And we're gonna go in for this one. I need my blocks. Where's my blocks at? Yeah. Oh, there's two here. I might actually, I might try to get both of these. I'm failing at blocking this off. Hang on, I'm being Helen Keller right now. Oh, well, my Helen Keller moment fast. There we go. Oh my god, there's three of them right next to each other. This is actually awesome. Alright, let's make some sticky bombs. I'm gonna try to get it, so that way I can break one and have enough time to go break. Uh, do I want to break two at once? Nah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Alright, magic mirror. Handy. I'm gonna break this and we're running. Nope, we're not having any of that. Uh, we did get a rotted fork. So, 14 melee damage. Oh, and uh, while I was waiting for it to turn daytime so I can get over there, uh, a meteorite did land. So perhaps next episode we'll go venture to the meteorite and we'll get that. So, we've actually made some decent progress. We got the Undertaker, we got the rotted fork, and we got the little heart thing that's really annoying because all it does is bounce around and make light. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I've been the Saxy Gamer playing some Terraria 1.3. The next episode, we're going to grab that meteorite and perhaps even fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Maybe not yet. But thank you for watching and goodbye.